So all of us have probably heard that old timers hot rod phrase, you need some back pressure to make power. Or if you don't have back pressure, you're not gonna make any torque and your motor's gonna suck. Well, that stuff's completely wrong and I'm gonna explain why. So welcome to another DK Custom Products video on exhaust. My name is Kevin, this is Dwayne, and Mike from Moto IQ, who you saw at the intro, we're gonna be playing a little bit more of his video here in a, in a couple minutes. Yeah. But this video is our fourth video <laughs> that we've done right. on back pressure. Now, we always alluded to back pressure for the last uh, decade and a half in a lot of our written reports. But we refrained from making a video until a few years ago. And we had big, Dwayne and I had big discussions about it. Yeah. There's so much back pressure right. about back pressure. Right. Because know? when it really boils down to it, there's no harm in those people being wrong. You know what I mean? It's mm -hmm. not going to affect my life or your life that they're wrong about mm -hmm. what back pressure means and how it affects their exhaust yeah. performance. But for the sake of accuracy, we've made a few videos. And every single time we make a video, we get pushback from somebody who's just that term right. back pressure has been ingrained in their verbiage. So, so in the first video, and we'll put it up in the corner here about Harley's quit saying Harley's need back pressure. Yeah. Um, that was the first one we did. We actually talk in the beginning of it about how we were hesitant to make the video. And then since then we made another video, we'll put the link up there. And then just recently we did another video with yeah. Gail Banks from Banks Power who most people who know anything about engines know who he, he is. He is a world-renowned mechanical genius, and we still got pushed yeah, back. So. We still got the comment, well, how come when I take my mufflers off, I lose power? Because it, we still yeah. get those comments. Yeah, so, um, so you can look back at those three videos, but uh, we take full responsibility for bringing up the subject of back pressure being bad, and not explaining it good enough. And, that, right. and that's why people are still resistant to it. So we found, um, uh, we actually were sent this uh, clip of this video and Mike at Moto IQ actually explains back pressure and why it's bad better than we ever have. 100%. And he does it in a tenth of the time. Yeah. So we're gonna look at him, but before we look at him, uh, you'll see uh, another clip that we'll play right here where Engineering Explained uh, talks about back pressure being bad, but then it gets super complicated. And we'll put the link to that video down below if you want to watch the whole thing. But here's just a short clip from uh, his video on the subject. In this video, we're going to be talking about why exhaust back pressure is bad. And so first we're going to start pretty basic and then we're going to get into some more complicated aspects of how exhausts work. Uh, so starting with the very basics, we have our engine here, it's got an intake, it's got an exhaust, the power stroke has just happened so our piston is at bottom dead center and we're about to press out all that exhaust, uh, those spent combustion gases, once this exhaust valve opens. Now once this exhaust valve opens, of course that high pressure is going to want to leave and go towards the lower pressure. Uh, and so we're going to define back pressure as pressure with the opposite direction of flow. So of course as that valve opens, the high pressure in here wants to escape because there's lower pressure out here, so it moves out the exhaust. Now back pressure would be resisting that. So as he explained, it, it, he can explain in a much more complicated manner, but really, really what it boils down to is back pressure equates to a lack of efficiency. You know, the more back pressure you have, the less efficient you're going to cycle those gases through the engine. And we'll get to it in a minute where Mike explains how the engine is pretty much an air pump. The faster you can pump the gases through, the more performance you're going to feel and the more efficient the engine's going to run overall. Yeah. But this clip that we just watched, a short little clip from Engineering Explained, yeah. we've had him uh, clips from him before in our uh, other videos, but he gets into the nitty gritty detail and says right there, right in the beginning, yeah. you know, that it gets a bit complicated. But let's look at this video from Mike and see how simple he explains everything from air pump to overlap yeah. to uh, exhaust gas velocity, everything we've been saying. And this video came out in 2022 and he's saying everything we've been saying 
for the last 15 plus years. So um, why is back pressure good or bad for your engine? Well, actually, back pressure is always bad, very bad. The reason why is your engine is a, uh, actually an air pump. Your engine is a, uh, actually an air pump, a, uh, actually an air pump. And uh, a lot of why it makes power is something called volumetric efficiency. So what it needs is uh, the least amount of restriction on the backside to help uh, move the most volume of gas through the engine. So if you do have an uh, exhaust system with a lot of back pressure, it acts like a cork and it hurts the engine's uh, pumping efficiency. The reason why old timers have said things like you need some back pressure to make power and torque in the past was, well, if you have like a really huge way oversized exhaust, you lose your gas column inertia. Uh, what that is, is um, you need velocity through the system to get good scavenging. So like he said, it's it's more so about the velocity or the lack of velocity that where you see a performance loss. A lot of people will say, well, how come when I take my slip-ons off, I lose power? Doesn't that mean I've lost back pressure? That doesn't mean, you know, you've lost performance in spite of losing that back pressure. You've actually lost the exhaust gas velocity. Now your exhaust system is much less efficient despite losing back pressure. Forget about back pressure for a minute. For whatever reason, whether you went to too large of an exhaust or maybe in some cases too small, creating a little too much restriction, maybe it's a baffle design, whatever it may be, if you lose the exhaust gas velocity, you lose low and mid-range power. Now, it's not so much an issue wide open throttle where exhaust is just pumping so fast through there, but in the low and mid-range where we actually ride these bikes, that's where you see the loss. And I think maybe some people just kind of mix up the verbiage. You know what I mean? They, they kind of just assume it's back pressure, but maybe in their mind they mean, you know, they've lost some velocity. You know, the exhaust gas isn't moving so fast and they equate it to, you know, because there's no back pressure to create a bottleneck or this or that. But it's it's much more complex. It's not that simple. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's you lose your pumping efficiency. You lose your performance. Well, yeah. And just like Mike said, it's an air pump. You want to get as much fresh air to mix with the fuel in as possible, which means you got to get that exhaust out of there quickly. I think he does an excellent job of explaining it. And it's interesting that even though he's obviously talking about cars, he has the cars in the background, it's the same principle. It's a it four-stroke engine. Yeah. And um, he talks about when they have oversized exhaust, which of course is all the fad with Harley, yeah, yeah. is getting like the 50 cal, you know, the five inch diameter, the four and a half inch diameter. Uh, I mean, when I first started riding Harleys, most people were running drag pipes or at the, a huge exhaust back then <laughs> was three inches in diameter, yeah, yeah. outer diameter. Yeah. And so as they've gotten bigger and bigger, as he says, the exhaust gas velocity slows down you don't get as good of a fill, you don't get as much power, you lose your engine pumping efficiency. That's right, that's right. So we help, hope this video has been helpful. Uh, we obviously make Thunder Torque inserts mm -hmm. to combat reversion so that you can increase your exhaust yeah. gas velocity uh, without creating undue back pressure mm -hmm. and put a link to those uh, down below and also a link to a video on them up in the corner here. If you haven't subscribed to our channel already, we'd appreciate it if you did that way and click the notification bell. And then that way, when we come out with a new video, you get notified. Please share the video with your friends. This will help them out. It helps us out. YouTube likes it when our videos get a thumbs up. They like it when those subscribers, they like it when our videos are shared. So we'd really appreciate it if you would do that for us. And we know the people that are gonna die on that heel of these bikes need back pressure. They've probably already turned the video off by this point. But if you guys have any input at all, we love comments. So make sure you leave us a comment. Or if you have any questions at all about anything you've seen in this video or any of our other videos or even on our website, shoot me an email to support at dkcustomproducts.com or give us a call. We have an entire customer service team ready to help you out. 662-252-8828. You all right safe out there.